one of the best best oh my god this is gonna be crazy really gameplay i'm gonna track every movement of every player i'm gonna laser beam to... double jungle ben jdg blue side scion ben good Good Ben, good Ben. Cassante's open. Danger, danger. Cassante open. Nautilus open. Any first pick over Cassante. I feel like Cassante Aphelios. Good counter pick support. Cassante Nautilus. Yeah. Wow. That's huge for T1. JDG will probably lock Aphelios Lulu. Or Jinx, Jinx, Jinx something. They could also... The danger of locking Aphelios Lulu is they have Nautilus. And they can put Nautilus support into it. Any Wukong Jinx drop support. Need to pick jungle AD. So I think Aphelios is a no-brainer here. It's going to be Aphelios something like Aphelios, Sejuani, counter pick support, here, Lulu. With a brown band, maybe, if they're flexing less, Nautilus. You know, JDG have a really nice flex here. It's kind of hard. Yeah, Aphelios. They're going to do Sejuani. Sejuani band is not bad. Diego band is not bad. Gwen band is not bad. Gregas band is not bad. And then they could last pick Lulu. But if they blind Lulu, they could go Nautilus support and play like a Galio game or something. They could ban Lulu here and play for blind Tan Kench. They're scared of Rumble Jungle. I think they should be scared of Sejuani, to be honest. Um, Especially if you're blinding support. I wouldn't mind a Gragas ban. What else do I want to ban? What would hurt on a blind? Tom Kench? No, I think you can play Lulu into it. Malphite. Yeah, Malphite's also fine. Same as Gragas, kind of. It must be Sejuani, right? Or Le maybe they care about Lee Sin, actually. No, I wouldn't care about Lee Sin. Or Kha'Zix? No, I won't care about Kha'Zix either. They ban the Lulu. So they want to blind Tom. If they do this, then they could pick Jungle here, Sejuani, and go Brown. And I think it's actually pretty good for T1. Maybe they like damage, they think. Kindred? I think you have to blind Tom Kench Gragas, no? I think Thresh is horrible. Tom Kench Gragas has to be their 4 5, right? And they go Brown into it. If they pick Thresh, they'll put Nautilus bot, and I think they'll get blasted. They could go any support, but what do you blind mid? Silas? Maybe a mage? Oh, they know they're gonna blind... They, they, they can't blind Tom because they know about Brown. Now you should just go Janna. Ah, so they take the Brown knowing that they can't blind Tom. So now they have to go Janna, right? Or Karma? No, it's bad. I don't know what Carrier picks. Thresh? Yeah, oh yeah, Thresh, of course. Yeah, of course, Thresh. They have Wukong, Brown, Manny, which is really powerful early. Gragas to nullify and AD trade to the scale. It's gonna be pretty fucking crazy. Very even, I think. Very even. I think JDG dealt with the support pick pretty well. But I think they lost out in the end. They dealt with it as best they could, that draft, I think. Pretty good. Pretty good draft from both sides. I didn't think about JDG taking Brown away. It's actually pretty smart. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you, guys. That's my plant. He's just chilling in the corner. I promise he's alive. Just Let's see if T1 can get the ball rolling bot side. And now going bot side should be pretty good. It's hard to dive Brown though. So Faker should be really fine in this lane. Slow stacking waves. They should get level 2 first, right? I mean, they leashed. Crazy. Kindred and Wukong, same timer on Raptors, but they leashed. T1 has really powerful champions, but three six, uh, JDG has really good mid-game mid champs. Could try to cover mid here if owner wants. Maybe you could invade top side. Yes, top push. Ah, he's not going to go bot. He's going to invade top side. There's no top dive, but I mean, he wins 1v1 against Wukong. He could ward his wolves and jump to... Yeah, there's the ward. Now he can blast Con over. Now, Kanavi W is important here. Owner's holding his E because he knows he can't... Oh, he actually just sent it. He's just dead or what? He's just dead. Oh, he lost vision. He doesn't have a ward. Oh, he lost vision. Hey, he lost his stack as well. Oh, that's so unlucky. Really nice collapse by Knight as well. So Owner was a bit greedy with his E because he knows if he E's the clone, he loses. But he needs to wait for clone to E, but eventually he just threw it. So you see here, he doesn't E instantly. Now he is. Now he is. Boom. Ready? There. If he E'd instantly, he would have proc'd it. Oh my god. One auto attack and Kanabi's dead. Oh my god. Well played by JDG. Oh, he lost the 50 50 as well, did he? No, he didn't. The owner got the crab. He got the stack. Oh, a bit lucky. That would have been super unlucky if he didn't get the stack bot either. That would have been super unlucky. Wards his respawn raptor, takes base, goes back to bot. It's fine. Bot should be winning. Mid is also 2v2 situation for T1. Mid is fine. Wow. Oh, they fake based bot they pushed bot went into fog wait for jinx round to get the wave and base here then they cancel their recall came back and crashed the wave and rebase so they can get a noon quiver and boots instead of just noon quiver owner could leave this crab a bit but he knows he needs to get it now because they'll get bot push this means t1 will have tempo topside but gregas isn't low so they can't dive mid wave is contested because tibbers is up and faker can't kill it they need to get base soft look at this triple recall here from t1 they want to fight herald i guess this is the idea Ah, JDG are late. They don't have... There's no way they can fight this. So it is kind of T1 favorite if they get away with this Herald. First Herald's better than first Drake. Need to make sure they don't full commit here, T1. Send Aphelios mid into bot. 
Or a full swap. Oh, they're full swapping. Interesting. Gragas can clear wave, though. But Gragas has no ult. Oh, nice try, Zeus. This should be really good for T1. Wukong's topside. No one can... I mean, Faker could run bots, but... He needs to fight mid and make sure Annie can't collapse. Nice, they'll chunk this guy a bit. Nice chunk. They can't die this Gragas coming. Yeah, they can actually. Oh, nice stun. Nice stun. Nice kill for T1. This four-man swap is big pace. Ruler is going to get Herald spot. Uh, plate spot. Full tower dead. What a swap from T1. That dragon lost him so much tempo, huh? After base now. How much did Ruler get? Three plates? Yeah, three. The problem now is Zeus doesn't really have a job. He just kind of catches there, top waves, pushes out the with the pinks he has, and tries jungle, to get himself involved. Doesn't really have a lane anymore. Kindra will get bot stack as well, spawning on crab. Nice. It's good for T1. What can JDG do, really? There's not much to do. They could wait for an extra you can fight. They have Kraken to no Mythic, because Jinx retaining solo gold. A little bit of an XP lead, but doesn't matter too much. So 369, basically what will happen is top is like a seesaw. 369 pushes, moves mid. Because there's no tower, he can be mid longer. And then Cassante will push top and he'll base and catch top. And then Cassante can roam. So it's like a seesaw, I don't know. Not much will happen. Zeus could base for his mythic as well if he wants. But now Zeus has like a minute free time after this wave that he can just chill around mid, take a base, run bot, do whatever he wants. The best thing for him is because he has a tower, he could just push this wave and base and run mid or something or bot and try something and TP top. But I don't know if he can really. There's not much of a lane to punish. They want to dive top tier too. He has no flash. Oh, he missed. But never mind. Uh, 369 here. Uh, Ooh. Possibly going to get dove again. There is the all out. Just that was so clean, actually. Nice ult by 369. Oh, oh, 369 played it so good. But the most important thing here is owner will get the stack. Dragon fight inbound. You know both teams are going to fight this. Baker's trying to chunk here. Ooh, dragon fight. I feel like JDG is fine with this dragon fight. They need to play really hard front to back because enemy team has double hook. This Braum is going to have to do so much work. Pop stack is up for Kindred if they want to. Oh, Knight! Oh, 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 Knight! Oh, what a play! What a play! That's it. That's three kills and Drake. Oh, Knight. What an engage. What the fuck? Oh, on the... what a follow up as well. Mm. That was beautiful. Holy fuck, the knight. The knight. This is domestic knight. They don't have TP for bots, so they're going to lose bot tower for this. 369 can get bot tower, get the wave in, get level 11 TP in. But Kanavi's far, so I guess they're dropping this. It's pretty much purely oh, Faker? Huh? on the T1 side. Well, Faker engaging. This is super scuffed. From here and immediately he is just dead. Showed him the door as it were. What a scuffed engage. They can siege mid a bit here. I don't know if they can get the tower. Guma has blue gun. Zeus will catch top, Faker will catch bot. They're not dropping waves too much, which is not... So these plays aren't the end of the world, but this Annie Braum combo is really hard, I think, right? Tibbers and Braum. This is why Braum counters Nautilus in bot, right? You hook in, you get Braum shield, AD can't do damage, Nautilus gets stacked, F struck off, boom, dead. So T1 don't have any AP damage, do they? This Abyssal Mask that he's building is going to be so useless. I think this game is super hard for T1 looking at it. Drake in one minute. JDG will just play to stack Drakes. Team fight Drakes. They're bread and butter. There's TP. He wants to be at the fight before the fight. A lot of people think he needs to TP in during the fight, but he wants to be there before the fight starts. Oh, they wasted. Nautilus will... Uh, Wuk Wukong will there. That's pretty big for T1. They should really try and fight this now. Hook misses, but this one hits. Slow fight. Oh, Knight again. They got the TP and they got his cleanse, but Guma's really low. This chunk is important. Faker can base in TP. Guma can life seal on wolves. Drake is not spawned yet. They're heralding. I think it's running out, or they're desperate to go and get this push in. Faker needs to TP on the wave, I think. He TP's on the herald. Actually, also quite smart. I'm gonna force JDG back a bit. Show me a hook. Shirley gonna buy them some space and some priority here. Another hook is going to connect. A second one going to come through on nice the Nice by Faker. Burst the damage. Again. But either a Brom oh, what? Faker? From Faker immediate cleanse from Rule. Okay, got his, he got Ruler's cleanse. Another hook hits. Carrier? But another oh my one god. Comes through. Carrier is gonna land his okay, they can definitely push him back now. Oh, Zeus. Zeus. He got the knock onto Brown, but. They'll get mid tier one. Okay, Faker a bit deep. Can you ult maybe? Oh, no order! They can get Kanavi, maybe. Nice flash. He doesn't have mana for ult. 
But T1, they have lost he doesn't have mana for ult. They have to drop Drake now. They have to drop top tier one. T1's gonna lose a lot now. The hooks are hitting, but JDG have really good turn damage. Oh, that question mark being Baron. They think T1's gonna rush it. They think T1's rushing Nash. Yeah, and it's like. Have seen him they could force Baron. Oh, like another hook. Time is the hook. Another hook. Yeah, going to oh, Knight flashed in. But Kuma lifts. Well. Where's Kuma ult? Not a whole lot of damage, though, they got 369. Kanabi's cooking, but they have Kindle ult. Faker needs to get in the Kindle ult, but he can't flash. Oh, he got it. Runa got the reset. Oh, Zeus missed the Q3 flash. Oh, no. Kuma? Nah, it's Ruler Diff. It's Ruler Diff. Carry has to flash. Oh, the W didn't hit. Zeus has TP, they can't do Nash. Drake's in 150. Oh, they're TPing for Zeus. Oh, Zeus. Where was Kuma's ult? Where was Kuma's ult? I feel like he could have ulted way earlier on the blue gun. They were like three man rooted. So, Hook hits Kregas. Watch Knight. He's going to flash on a turn here. As he gets Nautilus ult, they flash ults. But it's a knockback from Gregas. So, Kuma just cleans it. Where's Kuma's ult here? I thought he could swap gun ult. So the follow-up damage isn't mm. there No, he doesn't. And as we see here, the Faker flashed into it, but they have they have fucking uh, jinxled. Nice rocket. Zeus tried to block it last second, but he couldn't get it. Hook hits. Zeus Q3 flash misses. Ruler dodges it. Guma gets big damage down, but Ruler kills him. Yeah, he had a Tibbers in his face. He couldn't get past Tibbers. Carrier dead. Trying to get some sneaky vision around Nash. That's going to be Soul, right? T1 has to fight for 4v5. Soul. Zayus wrapping around, but it's a four versus five missing. He's just walking oh, towards Kanavi. some cyclone. He's going to land on to everyone. It's Kumi this Wukong is a problem. He tries to open. It's a double kill for Ruler. Oh, Ruler is eight. Oh. now going to have to ult just by himself. There is no way they can fight for this dragon. And JDG is such dead. a great spot. It's a complete blowout This Wukong Again, is a huge problem, I think. It's Wukong or Annie, but if I had to choose, I would get rid of this Wukong, to be honest. Kanavi Wukong was also huge throughout the rest of the tournament. This brown pick is also doing so good against the Nautilus stretch draft. God, Ruler, I swear, I mean, like, it's like watching a fucking... Watching Ruler play fights is like watching a fucking AI. Well, T1's only option now is to stall for Elder, but I don't know if they're getting that far. This Nautilus gets absolutely one-shot. See where the T1 have one team fight left nice shield, but he might die here. Oh, Kanavi again. Oh, Owner's one shot. The Kindred is getting one shot every fight. It's a stomp. It's a stomp. Holy fuck, Ruler A clicking like a monster. I'm not surprised. I thought JDG would win game one no matter what. T1 have to fix a few things here. They will go blue side for sure. From this bomb combined with knights and I just, gauges. This Nautilus pick is. Oh my god, they got Dove on Fountain. 9 0 3. Drop the Kindred. I think they should have picked a tank anyway. And or AP jungler, deny the Gregas maybe. The Nautilus doesn't make much sense if you're not if you're playing like Abyssal Mask Nautilus with full AD comp, I guess. Also, I think Faker should be on a more of a carry champ. What a banger game though. Banger game, the fights were already intense. They weren't very like even game states for the fights, barring like that one mid fight that Knight just solo carried. But I feel like when these teams are even in a, in a mid game fight, it's gonna be fucking crazy. Okay, I think Wukong is a big problem. To really answer what T1 wanted to do. So they agree. I agree. I don't think Annie was a problem. I think Annie first pick force is easier than... There we go. Yeah. Nice. Good job, G1. They didn't tunnel vision into this Annie Flash montage player. Okay, now Maokai is a problem. Maokai Kasante is the issue. And they could ban... Actually, Nautilus. They, they could ban Nautilus, you know. I don't mind it. I would leave Nautilus open. I would ban Maokai. Maokai first pick. Unless they have an... They're playing Sejuani into it. Mm, I think they should have they should have banned Maokai. Okay, they gave them Maokai. So what does JDG do? Normally JDG here would do a Philios Lulu, or they would do a Philios counter pick, and they could do a Philios Scion. Yeah, or they could just do Jinx. I mean, Ruler is insane on both, to be honest. But a Philios gives you more leverage in lane. Yeah, they're gonna do Jinx. The reason a Philios gives you more le leverage in lane is because you can you, you can count spot easier. They kind of have to do a Philios Lulu here. They they should do. They have to do a Philios Lulu, right? Otherwise, I'm so confused. The new Zyra Khan. Mm. Yeah, here comes the move. No shocker. Zyra Khan one T one. The, K the KT series. They could target jungle a bit here. Sejuani, Sejuani Viego. T JDG could target 
What could they target here? Gwen Ben doesn't hurt. Tristana Ban is also good, I think. Gwen Tristana, yeah, Gwen Tristana. I think Viego Sedge is best. Yo play Kazix on four. And Kazix is bad against Sire Rakan. Actually, do you care about Kennen? Oh, they care about Kazix. Okay, I was thinking maybe just give them Kazix. I think Tristana Ban for JDG here, not too shabby. Jace Ban is also not bad. Jace, Tristana. Yeah, Jace Ban good. Must be, must be Viego now then, I guess. I don't know. I think Sejuani ban is better though. Syndra. Is he blinding Lissandra? I think they should go Poppy actually. Oh, they're gonna go Sejuani. I thought so. I think Poppy's a bit better, but Sejuani was a really good ban here. So they must be blinding something instead of banning Sejuani. Are you blinding Tristana? Tristana, what? Tristana, Lissandra blind is terrible. No, I don't like Lissandra blind. Yeah, I knew it. I knew they would go Tristana. Uh, Are they going to go Tristana Kennen, aren't they? Gragas actually not bad. Go Gragas. Go Gragas, I think. Yeah, I He's gonna... Orn. I like Orn. I like Orn. Okay, uh, Knight would play um, LeBlanc into this, I think. No? I don't think he would play Silas. He would... Gali... No, not Galio. Probably LeBlanc, no? Or a mage? Cassio? Yeah, Cassio is a good mage. Here comes the Scion strat. Zeus can just play Orn and just fucking sit under a tower, I guess. Need to cover. Entrance. Need to cover entrance. Still nice. Okay, yeah, they found them. them There's no ward there either. T1 actually above. moved their ward here to cover it. They're gonna have to do Maokai wraparound play. cover or something. Oh, it's doomed. Uh, T1 is so doomed. Oh, T1 is super doomed. Maokai has to like, Maokai has to like do wolves and somehow get down to bot. Zeus is not covering this. He's gonna have to TP bot, I think, Zeus. Oh, they wanna fight this. They couldn't get level 2 though. Three six nine will die. Ono's gonna die. Baker's gonna flash. Actually saved a bit for T1 because now Sion has to TP top. So as long as T1 can get the bot lane, they're fine. Oh, Faker's gonna get rolled here. He's dead actually. He's dead. It's fine though. It's kind of fine for Faker because the wave's good, but Knight can take a solo kill there. It's kind of fine for Faker. I don't think it's worth for Cassio to lose flash like that. Especially considering she lost the wave. Uh, this guy has flash. Oh, 369 knows he's behind him. They have to get him down quick. Oh, he missed his W2. W, w, w. Oh, he flashed in the tower. The knock up. The Q. Faker. Tank, tank, tank. Faker can kill. Oh, they got out. They're going to lose a lot of creeps mid for that, but it's fine. Oh, because of the Rakan shield, Guma dropped it until the last second after the Q. Faker lost a wave for that, but obviously it's worth it. It's worth it. Faker has Noon Quiver now, so he can blow those waves instantly. DG's going to start Dragon. They don't have much bot push, though. A bit of a greedy Dragon start if Faker can collapse down, but he's down in XP, so Cassio could get 6. Looks like they're going to drop it and push bot. He's a bit split with no flash, but Sejuani no flash, too. Hmm. It's not viable. Rakan has no flash. So Faker is ahead, but he's... Like, now on the level 6 of Cassio, it's really hard for Faker to all in mid. Mid is a problem, you know? Faker's ahead, but this matchup is hard. Faker needs to get a base TP. Oh, bot wave, bot wave timer. Zeus needs to back, Zeus needs to back quick so he can cover. Oh, it didn't land the stun. It's clean double. This is easy kill. Oh, actually, the creep's gonna die. Kanavi needs to tank quick. The poison is going to connect. There's the permafrost. Really clean by JDG. Instantly pulled the trigger to dive bot. So T1 will get some gold back, but yeah, that's a big play for JDG. So let's see the damage for this. Plate, plates, mid. Oh my god. Baker got two plates, and they got Herald. So in terms of gold, ignoring waves, T1 gets ahead. Cassio dropped the wave. Desire lost the wave. Ah, it's kinda even. Because they can use Herald too. And Zyra Khan didn't use Flash. Not the end of the world for um, T1. If you don't include XP, it's pretty even, but I think T1's coming out ahead there. They need to, but T1 needs to start playing bot side now. Maokai is Herald, he has six. Top camps are now gonna get killed. They need to get that Herald on mid, I think, actually. 
Maokai is spiking, Faker still has TP, he must be close to, I guess, Kraken. If they have Sejuani, uh, Sejuani Sion, they need to play Kraken. Knight, no flash on that play as well, means he has to give up mid push a lot easier. Draken 10, TP top is a T1 favorite, so Zeus could base here when the wave crashes and try to force the dragon with a TP through bot tier 1. Certainly far more Ooh, where? Ooh, there's a ward. Oh, Zeus, 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 big mistake. There's a ward there and he tried to wrap into the alcove. He could get chunked a lot here. Maybe 369 doesn't have the damage. I think 369 is trying to slow him because he knows he has TP advantage. They had a fast play there where what happens is Keria leans, gives up bot push, JDG push bot, and then Gumayushi sits on the tower. They can try and get that Herald mid. And then they back off when JDG bot lane collapses, but they didn't get it in very well. JDG are giving it. They stopped the Herald. But T1 stopped the dragon stacking. What dragon have we got? If this is Mountain Soul, holy fucking shit. God, the game's even. That's what I like. I like it when the game's even. I want five games. I want even game states. I want team fights. I just want to see the fucking skill expression. How do you kill the Jinx? You don't. Neither team is diving carries this game. Both teams are straight up front to back. Maybe Rakan can like find a flank, but is it even worth it to be honest? Can Cassio Jinx out DPS Shrisana Zaya? JDG also have an Enchanter, so that helps the Jinx, obviously. But then T1 have more CC overall, right? Like, Ornold can really fuck Cassio, Maokai ult can fuck Cassio. But then again, there's not much from JDG to stop the carries from hitting, right? Sejuani ult's gonna go on the front line, Sion ult's not gonna land, then that's it. Unless Knight flash ults, there's basically free hitting, so... As much as the Cassio Jinx will do more straight up DPS than free hitting... I feel like T1 need to stop them from free hitting. Oh, what a buffer by Faker. What a buffer. That could be Knight's flash there. Oh, carry a mistake. It's not going to be the greatest petrifying gaze. It's now Carry a mistake. So he ran into the Jinx Trumpers. He could have killed the there. He could have Jinx flashed, knocked up the Cassio. Oh, they'll lose first tower. I think he should have TP'd bot. I mean, he doesn't have perfect info and could be under threat of a Jinx Lulu dive. But they're losing a bot tower for free. I really think they should have tried to cover that. Uh, this Cassio is going to become really powerful. I'm actually a bit worried for T1. Obviously, it's even right now, but I just see like JDG's team fights simulating them in my head. Yeah, they got Ruler Sums and JDG got. They traded three flashes for one. Ruler no Sums, but there's no Rakan ult, so I mean, what is he scared of? I mean, Ornold and Maokai ult will sting, but he needs to play really far back. There shouldn't be enough follow up. Alright, let's not fuck this Herald up as well, T1. Oh, JDG positions so aggro, don't they? Here comes the free hitting. But now the free hitting is gone. Oh, big stun. Here comes the turn. T1 are blundering these fights. Where did Ornold go? What happened to Ornold? Was it Cassio W? Yeah, that's the first glimpse of a fight. So you'll see what happens. T1 ult. They use all their ults so that ADs can hit. When ults are fading, then T1 have to really be careful. Here, all the ults. Oh, it was Sion Q. Oh my god, if they got that Ornold off. God, it's so fun with the EU being out of the tournament. I can just see LCK versus LPL fights in the chat and in the game. Great. So I think T1's next breakthrough is double Lord Dominix, you know? Or IE Lord Dominix on Tristana. After that, I think it's only really going downhill because, I mean, this guy's gonna finish Seraphs, and when this Cassio gets Rabadons, I can tell you it's completely GG. They're trying to three men top. Yeah, JDG are trying to defend this. Something we also have mentioned, uh, in addition Ruler to Ruler has no flash yet. Carrier has cosmic insight, so he has a flash window where it's up instead of his 15 to 30 seconds window. Looks like the Ruler's not even going to give it to them. You can see Rakan flash up, Jinx still a little bit away, but they can't do anything about that. They are really trying to play for this top tier one here, T1. But look at the look at the experience between Faker and Knight. It's a huge problem. Faker is a level and a half down. Obviously, Rod of Ages helps that out, right? He has Lord Dominic now. I mean, yeah, Asaya's going Navori. What am I talking about? He's close to Navori. So T1 are waiting for these items. They're waiting for Dominix. They're waiting for Navori. All right, they got the top tier one. But uh, so what JDG have sacrificed here? If they've sacrificed this top tier one for bot side control, they're gonna get bot. No, bot tier one's already down, isn't it? So they trade a top tower for control. They're trying to base on Zyra Khan, get some pinks, get Navori. TP flank, TP flank, TP flank. Sion ult is a good angle here. Oh! Orn just almost solo killed Jinx. That's a lot of uptime though. Malka ult down, so he can turn with Sion ult here. No flash missing. Nice root. Good knock up from Keria. They have to be really careful of that Cassio though. Faker! 
Oh my god, they're flashing on ruler. They're flashing on ruler. No subs, carrier! Carrier got him! Guma triple! Guma penta! Guma penta! He stole it! He stole it! What a fight! What an insane fight! T1! They can end! They can end! It's over! Is it over? Is that it? Is the game just ending? What these teams are fucking psychotic! Oh my god, maybe they're trying. I don't know if they can, you know. Baker TP. Oh my god, they're full sending. Oh my god, T1, what are you doing? They can't end, they can't end, they can't end, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't. Can they end? What the fuck is going on, T1? Oh my god. What? 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 What the fuck? Holy shit. That's a fucking punch if I've ever seen one. Holy shit, T1 just fucking sucker punched them in the face. Damn, Keria held his ult for so long, no? 23 minutes into the game, Zeus TP's behind. And Zeus does really well here. I think he should have E'd instantly, but we're not going to tunnel vision too much on mechanics. Here, look at this. Flash ults the ram to hit Ruler on his Gale Force. Ruler is Gale Forcing there. Hit. I thought he would E here straight away, but he gets the auto. W. And then in comes the wild growth. So... Ruler lives. Kanavi lives by flashing out. The fight resets. So what do we have access to here? We have Cassie ult, Sion ult versus what? Rakan ult. Now they free hit the Sion because he's slowed. Missing flashes, which is good because Faker would chunk him way too much. You need to make sure you're full HP. E hits the root. Dodges the Cassio Q as well there, Guma, which is pretty big. Nice dodge on the Cassio. Watch his movement as he E's. Mute the other stream. Mute the casters. Oh, okay. I'll mute this as well. I'll mute that as well. So what he does here, Guma, as he E's, he also sidesteps to the left, so he dodges the Cassio Q, which is pretty big. Hit, hit, hit. Carrier knocks up the Scion Q. E's out. The Miasma's down. I thought here T1 would lose the fight because they can't tunnel vision onto Scion. But Faker just jumps over it, which was complete psychopath. Absolute psycho. And what Missing does here is he's really good. He turns around and polymorphs him right there. Boom. See that? Polymorph. So what Faker wants to do there, it's very common in fights. Maybe you'll understand what I'm trying to say here. But... If you're winning a fight and you think the fight is going to end, but you're winning the fight and want the fight to keep going, the only way to keep the fight going is to full send one of your carries, like Faker does, to make them turn onto you. And then what Faker would want to do there is as he jumps in, auto, 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 he flashes back. But because he flashes back, Sion has already stepped up, so Saya can finish, right? Like, if you see them disengaging here, JDG want to get out, but Faker doesn't want them to get out, right? Like, it's very common you see pros do this to keep the fight going. So Faker wants to flash right now. But he didn't get his flash off, so he died. So that actually made JDG think, wait, we got a reset. They're griefing. So they go in. But they this whole fight, Carrier hasn't used Rakanult. I don't know. He's held it the whole fight. And he waits. Zeus gets a nice knockup onto Knight, who's already flashed. Then Carrier ult, flashes, lands the charm onto Cassio, Ws the Jinx, boom, slam dunk, Guma kills him. Insane position. Look how far forward Guma's playing this whole fight. Watch Guma and watch his front line. He's in front of his front line the whole fight because, I mean, he needs to keep the fight going. He needs to keep hitting. Still in front of Orn, still in front of Maokai, still in front of Orn and Maokai. He's always ready to disengage because he has flash ult. And if you have flash ult on any carry, you can play really cocky, right? You can play like really up in their face. Here he ults on top of a knockup and gets a really nice E as well. On the E flash. You see that E flash onto ruler? So yeah, Guma Carrier. I mean, this reminds me of... This reminds me so much. My YouTube doesn't work anymore. Anyway, insane fight by, uh, by T1. Yeah, the T1, the KT fight. Yeah, T1 versus KT game 5. It's the same thing where they hold the ults. Look how long they're holding their ults. And then Guma full sends. It's kind of similar thing where he gets both carries. Flashbacks. Crazy that they ended off that. I'm so shocked that they ended the game off that. Alright, so Wukong. Yes, T1 agree. Yes, T1 is... Just give any, give any, give any, give any. Okay, now I don't mind Nautilus Cassante. But I actually don't like Nautilus Cassante. But you can do it if you want to. I prefer Cassante AD. I love... Dude, T1, like, they just... They just... It, they just understand. They're gonna go, what, the Filios Lulu? Are they gonna do Jinx Blitzcrank? I don't mind Sejuani here. Or Ari. I don't like the Faker Nautilus. I don't like it. I hope that it's Nautilus spot. Okay, drop a Gwen Ban. I do think Sejuani Ban is... Oh, is it good? I don't know, it depends. Jung banning jungle now is hard for JDG. Because if Nautilus goes mid, they kind of want to ban Kha'Zix. Or Lee Sin or something. Or Viego. The Nautilus goes support, they kind of want to ban Sejuani. I think JDG should cover Kha'Zix, to be honest. Yeah, they should definitely cover Kha'Zix. They should ban... If they ban Lee Sin and they pick Kha'Zix, they can't pick anything. Oh, this is complicated. Because if they pick Kha'Zix here, they can go Lee Sin. But if they pick Lee Sin, then they have to go Poppy. So if you ban Lee Sin, they will take Kha'Zix. 
If you ban Kha'Zix, they'll take... Yeah, Kha'Zix... Really wow, they care about Blitzcrank. They didn't care about jungle. What are they going to do? Lee Sin Orin? They should pick Lee Sin into Kha'Zix. Or Nidley, but Nidley with Annie? I'm not sure. They could do Nidley Renekton. They're not going to pick Lee Sin into Kha'Zix. They're going to go Sejuani with Annie. Oh, mummy, what are you picking top? Are you picking Fiora or something? I feel... Okay, Orn, Lee Sin, yes. Orn, Lee Sin, Orn, Lee Sin, Orn, Lee Sin. I don't think they can go Orn, Sejuani. Oh, Zin Zhao works. Oh, uh, does it work? I think Kha'Zix... So the way Kha'Zix, Zin Zhao matchup works is Kha'Zix should not evolve Q this game. No way. Actually, he can evolve Q. It's fine. But my point is, level 1 to 5, Sin Zhao hard win. When he gets straight to Dirk and level 6, Kha'Zix win. But 2v2, Sin Zhao win. If Kha'Zix gets ahead, Sin Zhao can't play. Yeah, they did 80 jungle Orn, which was correct. You know what I think they should do? Yes, they should pick Gwen, put Cassante mid and play North. That's exactly what I was going to say! Oh, it's so good! It's so good! They, it was so good, this Cassante double Nautilus flex. Yes, good job, T1. Good job. Both drafts are good. I saw it happen because they banned Gregas, and I was like, why aren't they banning Gwen? But then it made sense because if they blind, they can they can flex Cassante mid if they blind Gwen and go Fiora, or they can flex Cassante mid on a, on a tank blind and play Gwen. So, two things. One, Gwen can 1v9. Two, I really don't know how useful Kha'Zix will be. I always feel like Kha'Zix will be useful or dog shit, and there's no middle ground. There's no like i can try and be useful it's just you're doing something or you're fucked because if you fall behind on kha'zix in pro play jesus same with zinzao that's not true zinzao can just press r press e q r double cobalt this will be a scaling game i think there is not much gonna happen unless zinzao does something spicy but kha'zix will try and full clear top lane will just give up mid will be contested i think if anything's gonna happen it's gonna be mid Mid still have TP. This will be a team fight game. Exact same as last game. One fight will decide the game. Oh. Damn, Cassante is so OP. Look, he just doesn't die. Look his HP. He's healing through all this damage. Doran shield second wind. Vasfoot, Vasfoot and Shaisa Stastin. Oh, Ghost. Traps. Missing dead. Flash over, Guma. Oh, he hits Ruler instead of missing. Oh, no. Guma, 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 Guma. No. Oh, Faker. Oh, Faker. Holy moly. I think he could have killed... Did he run out of mana? I feel like Guma could have killed. He just hit Aphelios instead of Lulu, and then he realized he hit Aphelios, so he didn't go for the next auto attack. That, that one auto would not have killed, but because he missed it, he realized he needed two, but he could only get one more, so he tried to run away. If he hit Lulu and not Aphelios, then one more auto would kill, but because he didn't hit this, then he would need two autos, so he realized he should run away. It would be ideal for Carrier to get this. He's probably telling Faker, don't push mid, let me arrive for midwave to get six. And once that happens, I think Herald fight should be one-sided. So Faker probably didn't push mid. Carrier will hit six now. And now they'll go to Herald and start it. Oh, 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 oh. missing got six on the wave now as well. He got solo XP on the wave. Oh, Kanavi, you psychopath. Oh my god, Kanavi got it as well. What the fuck? Kanavi's insane. Holy shit, they played it. How did they do that? How did they do that? It's good. You have to be careful of Zinzao on midwaves, because what he'll do is he'll try to stack Q3. He'll try to stack Q3 and jump in on the wave, and it's actually pretty crazy. You need to be tracking it very well. You need to be on it. Break should be T1s. JDG have to take a base. They have Herald still. Oh, they're waiting for the crap to go up. Maybe he can live. No, he can't. Maybe he can live. Mm, he's dead, I think. Ooh, deck death rocket. Faker, no flash on... Oh, he missed. Nice kill. Now we're going to trace Orn. Four drinker on Kha'Zix. He's spiking, but nice trade one for one. Drake stacking is really good for T1, and it's Mountain. Ooh, Faker. Oh, he can ult him here. No flash. Q3. Oh, nice stun by Knight. Oh, Faker. Cassante is so broken. Damn, Faker is making magic happen. Cassante is doing so much work in these fights, huh? Zeus TB back top to push. I don't know if 369 base there or not. Rocket belt Annie. Yeah, that's what Faker did. 
makes gap closing a lot easier. You can also fake on any. You can proto belt forwards, get the move speed, and then run back. You can also get banshees off easily with it, even though they won't build banshees, but they will build edge of night, right? So when Kha'Zix has edge of night, you can just proto belt it off. No flash. Oh, Kyria. He gets the ult, though. Nice rocket from Kuma. Oh, ruler? But it didn't oh, he hooked, the, he hooked the he hooked the E there. The nice hook by Carrier. One minute on Drake. Big fight in bounce. Really Knight will have flash for it, but Kanavi well, won't. Neither will Faker. I don't know. Carrier flash timer. Does T1 drop Drake and play Herald for Herald top tier two? They're definitely playing for Herald. Faker has TP. You might need to TP in early if they want to fight this. Maybe TP on the next mid wave. Or he could just threaten bot tier one. They could drop this and then rotate back down to Drake. Carrier doesn't have any wards though. So Faker's hitting bot tower, breaks up in 40, T1 could drop and play for mid wave into Drake, or they can fight with TP on Faker. Okay. Oh, owner sold it. What a steal. Knight's position is really far, huh? Hit Faker can try and ult Sinzo out. He dodged W. Hook. Oh, nice girl force by Ruler to dodge it. Nice knockup by 369 and Knight. Oh my god. What an insane turn by JDG. What an insane turn by JDG. My god, what a turn. What a turn by JDG. It's beautiful. So they lost Drake now, but they got Herald T1. No flash on Knight. They can just wait for that. Lucidity Boots, Cosmic Inside. Base from Carrier to refresh wards. Missing's gonna have to do the same thing in a sec. Baker has Herald. What can they play that Herald for? Mid tier 1, I guess. They can't really play it for a side tier 2. Does 369 TP here? Yeah, he does. Oh my god. Oh, it's Knight. Zap, but like you say, Knight is looming. Why did Knight TP the there? The dredge line not going to connect. He throws down the bear, but it's not exactly onto the priority target. And the flame chompers are going to catch him. Knight will fall to the super. Why did Knight TP there? I think that was a 369 TP. Zinza ult up. Find this team fight is the Zeus question. is cooking. Really Faker's cooking. Need a reset for Guma. Oh, Faker. Q3 oh, flashes the Aphelios. Oh, Ruler's cooking, though. There is one Guma. Missing, but Ruler Guma, Guma, Guma. Oh, oh Guma. Faker, 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 Faker. What a fight by Faker. Why is Knight flanking? That should be an Orn TP, not an Annie TP. Watch Faker here. Q3, EQ flash. He gets Sins out, but watch Ruler here. The ult, he gets shurikens for days. Kha'Zix gets one shot, useless champ. He actually doesn't even get that many shurikens, dodges the, the Jinx W. He was cooking. Knight has flash ult and Guma has no sums. I don't know if T1 fights this. I feel like Guma is going to get one shot. Oh, Carrier! Oh, Carrier! What an engage! But he needs to back out. He needs to peel. Or an ult is going to be big. Kanavi, can he solo kill Guma? And he's dead. Guma's alive. And he's dead. Guma's alive. Ruler's dead. Guma's alive. It's Baron. What a team fight by T1. What a team fight by T1. Is it? No, it's no, no way is it over. No way is it over. No way is it over. You're joking. You're fucking with me. It's not over. What? 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 No. No, 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 no. No fucking way. No fucking way. Faker's dead. Is it over? Is it over just like that again? What the fuck? I have never seen that like once, sure, but back to back. Can't do a T1 Baron if you don't do Baron. Well, the, the biggest thing here is T1 beats JDG, but they beat them on red side. Need the first pick Sunday. Okay, they ban it. Wukong ban. Wukong ban. Annie. Nautilus Jinx. Aphelios Lulu. Ooh, they ban Lulu. So now what happens is they first pick Annie or Wukong, they take the other. Okay, so now they'll do Wukong Nautilus AD. Oh, I think they should take Wukong JDG. They could also do Wukong. Wukong, they could do Zyra Khan, but I think they're crazy if they don't take Wukong Nautilus. Why? Uh, are they high? Are they playing for content? They will just do Aphelios Wukong. Unless they've got this plan and they're doing Nidalee. Zyra, Aphelios, Ben? What are you playing? I don't know if they'll play Zeri. But Ben is very good. They leave Aphelios up. My browser crashed. I can't do anything. I told you it was Aphelios. I told you. Okay, we're rock enjoyers. Okay, full team fight. Wait, Malphite is 0-7? Well, I'm just gonna see a repeat of game one, I think. I'll see you in game five, chat. I don't know, I think Wukong is such a big problem. Ooh, this invade, they need to backtrack quick. They need to get back down to bot. 
Because they don't want to play split map in this game. Owner should just go to red now. Let's see if Kanavi goes down. Baker is still leaning topside mid. He needs to be careful. Now, does JDG collapse? Baker needs to be really careful. They should know he's there. Baker can't die to this. Can't die to this. Not going to have much more afterwards oh, at up. level one as Faker is going to try and get over towards Ona into the brush. Oh. They go as first blood. It's so bad by T1. Whoa, 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 whoa. is Ona dead as well? He's out, he's out, out. Faker gets level two now. Can they fight any? No flash? They hit the slow. Knock up dead. Okay, good kill. Kindred is really strong now, but she didn't get a stack from that. So game state's pretty good for... I mean, I would say T1. Mid is good state. Ahead in XP. Jungle has a kill. You are... Nice dash. Nice sidestep as well. Why does Faker have a CS lead? I think the wave was bouncing when they killed any. Tier 2 boots for Guma. They're lane swapping for Herald. JDG should know this. They did this in game 1. They should be pushing bot fast and moving up. But I think Aphelios can't base. He has to run up the river. Winning play for JDG because they have bot push. And Zeus has no TP. Zeus is collapsing though. Bot waves are going to suck for T1 if they fight this. They're going to lose a top wave here at JDG. So it's even at the moment. Malphite Nautilus is going to be a fucking brutal combo for this, this Aphelios. Whoa! Double knock into night. Oh my good heavens. Ruma no flash. Wanna play. Carry not six. Jinx no flash. Nice play by 369. Doesn't give them much, you know. JDG can't really get anything for that, but it's a kill. They don't have Mythic on Jinx, they don't want to fight. JDG aren't starting though, so maybe they can get back in time to fight. They have Mythic. People in chat on Brave Ruler will stream like, sell Cull and buy Gale Force. Just sell Cull, it's useless. No, just wait. It's fi fine. Free AD. Oh. No heal on Rakan. Baker base and TP. He has no ult. Awkward start though, because Rakan is low. And Aphelios has to catch bot. God, there's so much stuff going on. The stops both teams from wanting to start the objective, but T1 is set now. I think T1 is going to smoke them this fight. Unless Wukong can get onto this Jinx. Oh, Knight missed Jinx. But they one-shot Kindred again. They get smoked. Oh my god. Why? I can't believe this is always working. T1 had better setup, but Knight just one-shots one shots the Kindred. It's the same story as game one. What are we doing? I can't believe they gave them any Wukong again. Ruler could be in trouble here as the Ooh, we're teeping bot. They have, they have Malphite ult as well. As Zayas is just barreling towards the tower. Ruler manages to flash to try and get out of the way, but it's not going to be enough. Double kill for Guma. He gets excited and he deserves to as well. Can they get out? Guma might have to flash up here or just get eat over the wall. Kamushi does have the flash, doesn't need to use it. But the okay, that's a big play by T1. Nice, T1 nice safety. counter punch. Yeah, Zayas should be fine here. Yeah, I think T1 Guma are happy with that. That negates Zayas. the team fight earlier. So the problem is they lost the Drake, but the game's back into the same state as it was before. They got the Aphelios sums as well. Watch, Zeus' ult here was weird, but he's trying to ult the Aphelios flash, kind of, but also cover where he is. Doesn't matter, to be honest, but... Doesn't really matter. He ulted the tower. He wants to headbutt the tower. But if you ult where Aphelios is there and he flashes, you can't gap close. So he just ults, like, in the middle of where he will flash and where he will be standing so he can kill him. So it's actually fine, to be honest. They need any flash to one-shot Kindred. I think maybe owner needs QSS, you know. Early QSS. Now Bomba's coming around. Where's the ult? Where's the ult? Owner's dead. Guma has to carry this. Guma has to carry this. Guma has to carry this. But Aphelios, Aphelios sing. Big fight for JDG. Great setup. This is a game five. This is a game five. Just put owner on Sejuani or something, man. I feel like in these games, he's not really doing anything. I also think he can't do anything this game, but fair enough. The Maokai game was fine. Just put him on a tank. I think he doesn't need to play Kindred and Kha'Zix. He doesn't need to play carries. I also hate the Nautilus, because the Nautilus means he has to play a carry. They should give carry a Nautilus, pick blue sides, and deny this Wukong. 369 TP where? Not exactly the most high oh my god, that's a psycho TP. Respectable. Oh, Faker just hooks Ruler. Oh, man. Can Kanavi kill Guma? They're gonna kill Guma as well. Karia saved him. Guma dead, Guma dead. Oh my god, Kanavi is just killing everyone. Kanavi is 1v5ing. 
Wu Kong is doing so much work, man. What a hook from Faker. Nice flash ult by Zeus. What happens in the back, though? Let's see. Kanavi flash. Smite. Ruler. Uh, ruler's dead. Kanavi follows. Ult with the uh, missing. They get the Tom Kench eat. 369 and Knight commits. Knight flash tibbers the Tom Kench. Out comes Guma. Nice stopwatch by 369. Kanavi kills him. Kanavi kills owner. Owner doesn't even press ult. He just gets body slammed and dies. They need Ai on Guma. They need Ai on Guma. But Ai is almost built for fucking ruler as well. Alright, even game again. J JDG really favored though. It's even on the fights because of AD items, but Kanavi is just so far ahead. They have so much I mean, it's, it's kind of so even if Owner can get his ult off, but I don't know if they can get his ult off. The gold doesn't really matter. It's literally just who can keep AD carry alive, can fight. Kanavi kill Guma. That's it. And Owner didn't have ult that fight. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Baker wants to hook. Baker wants to... Oh! Owner static. I got it off! He got it off! He got it off! Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. We're going to game five. Faker's trying to get the wave. Good God, man. Kanavi Knight, Wukong Annie, just stop it. Jesus, of course it's going to game five. Of course T1 will have side selection. Of course they're going to choose blue side. He's so lucky to get this ult off owner. Missing missed his knockup. He missed his charm as well. That owner should have, owner should have got insta-popped. I just see Faker's items and I know he's getting one shot by Ruler and Kanavi. Ban Annie Wukong? No, it's just Wukong. Annie is a problem, but Wukong is the problem. The same as game one. They adapted game two, they adapted game three, then they just forgot in game four. I don't know, maybe they thought they could deal with it. But JDG will be on red side, and the complicated thing for JDG on red side now is Vi, Maokai, Wukong, Kasante. Annie, what do you ban? Definitely Kasante, definitely Vi. Vi, Kasante, I think they'll do Mal Vi, Kasante, Maokai. Game isn't over, Kajal. Shut the fuck up. I think this game is over, little bro. Speaking of picks, yeah, Faker in a whole lot of trouble. Carrier gonna have to use his devour on the oh. as he just gets thrown around. Knight says hello. Have to, have to give double in it. Have to give double in it. Well, Malphite's gonna go from 07 to 08. Guma has fucking big items though. Guma has some fucking. Guma has some zazad up items. Look at that man. Look at AD items. Is it, but it's still unplayable, huh? Let him smoke. Let him smoke. I don't know if he can smoke though. He's down so much XP, huh? Oh, they can collapse on Knight here. Oh, Knight's dead. They have TP on 369, but it's in TP TP. He doesn't even flash. What am I talking about? Look at that shield on Aphelios. <laughs> yeah, I'm balanced. I'm an AD carry. I'm a full tank. You want to try to farm up? I'm surprised the owner hasn't gone QSS yet. They're just running it down mid. They have to, but their sides are bleeding. It's so bad. They don't have any timers. 369 can push top. Knight can push bot. TP ready. They can threaten an end. T1 is going to lose the game like this. But they have to. They're going to lose the game. Now JDG will stop the bases. And Kanavi. Oh, he's gonna oh find my Kiryushi. god, Kuma's he's dead. He's gonna have to go into his stopwatch, and now Zayas finds Andy. an ultimate, but these Nexus turrets are going down, and the GC's down well. up so much. This game, ladies and gentlemen, I think is just over in this moment. We're not gonna get another team fight because JDG will deny it. Good god, it's actually going to game five. To game it's actually going to game five. Oh my good god. Oh my god, I can't believe it's going to game five. There's just no way. There's just no way. Of League of Legends is JDG looking to grab a few kills here towards the Nexus. Owner and Faker just looking on their fountain, watching as things go on. Owner is going to be able to get that all five off, games. It's not going to matter because this Nexus, after they get a couple of kills, will go down. Wow, wow, wow. Game five drafts will be everything. I don't know. Draft is everything in this game five. Draft is everything. Well, this feels like the finals, but the best thing about this is the finals are still to come. So the loser of this series will play against the winner of Gen G versus BLG. Vi ban on blue side, they ban Annie, so they've swapped Lucian down I forgot about Lucian. Now I think Sion, Maokai, Kasante. Yeah, no they have to ban Kasante so here. They have to ban what? They could ban Sion first pick Maokai. It's good, no? Ari ban. Oh yeah, Ari ban is good actually. Have to ban Kasante, right? Surely. Okay, Maokai first pick. Good for T1. Okay, JDG, what is it? Aphelios jungle? You pick Nautilus? 
Are you gonna play Jinx? So yeah, I they could just slam Jinx Lulu, like but Aphelios Nort is up. That's super ins. They have to slam a Jinx something else. What? There's no way they're doing that. Oh my god, just go Aphelios Nautilus, please. Please go Aphelios Nautilus. Please go Aphelios Nautilus, please don't pick Lulu. Just go Aphelios Nautilus, please, 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 please. Okay, Lulu is fine, but please just pick Nautilus. Okay, fine, fine. I think Nautilus there is just better. Let's see how the draft goes, though. Is he gonna go Sedge now or what? Could go Jarvan. And there again, mm, potentially just Gregas. going to die. Gregas, so Gregas, really Gregas. Focus on wow. who had a hell of this is going to be kill the Guma game, game then if they're going to play Lulu instead of Nort. It's hard to ban uh, now because they can flex Gregas. A lot of they have to ban away AG blind top blind mids. They could. I think Nar is pretty good already in the series now. It hasn't been picked once, but I think Nar is good somewhere here. Sion is good somewhere here for both sides. Do you cover? They're gonna flex Lulu mids. I don't think they're gonna flex Lulu mids. Yeah, Tristana banned mid last game. They're probably gonna do Tristana Jace, but I don't think it's that good because they have Gragas for Jace. What's your last ban? Sejuani? I think Diego maybe. I think. Can they play Poppy top? Can T1 play Poppy top? I don't know what Faker's blinding, man. Jesus, take the wheel. To be honest, Sion Horn with a mage is the easiest angle here, but I don't know. It's T1. Maybe they've got to be cooked. Gwen is good. Yeah, Gwen makes sense. Oh, I hate it. He's going to go Silas. Cassio? It's Silas. It's Silas. It's Knight. Okay. I hate the Nautilus. I hate it, but let's see. At least owner's not on a carry. So T1 have really good front to back. They have really heavy AP top sides, though. I think for me to break Abyssal Mask will definitely have a lot of value this game. Gwen. So the, uh, the Nautilus position in the draft is actually so not better than it was before. Well, I kind of prefer T1's draft. Very, very but again, Guma's playing without cleanse against Sejuani Gragas. Which Silas. Will be going to the final I don't know, dude. I like T1's draft because Owner's on a tank, but I hate it because Faker's on a tank. But the Nautilus position in draft is pretty good. Carrier needs to rush Mikhail. Zeus will win in isolation. But JDG have really good dive. They can take Maokai ult. They can take Nautilus ult. Can Guma live? Can Guma live? Can Guma live? Knight Silas is probably one of the best Silas's in the world. Oh, Kanavi three camps into mid. He's going to queue into the bush. Oh, Kanavi's really... He needs to get something now. He's wasting so much time. Kanavi got scuttled. Ow. Sorry, I looked away for one sec. Owner will get bot crab. Bot push in favor of Ooh, in Faker. Faker oh, it said you only didn't W the flash. The e if he W sure flash hit E, they could kill, but yeah, he didn't. But it's really hard anyway. No, they get bot crab. Grom respawn for Kanavi. No he didn't do red. He'll Faker level up, get four. Owner needs to do Raptors and look to base soon, I guess. But it does not solve the He's going to go Demonic Embrace first item. Bot push is really easy. They're playing Lulu into Rakan. Bot push for 369. I'm surprised 369 is getting a 10 CS lead already. 369 is really chilling. He doesn't even TP back. Two potions, two biscuits. Hasn't TP back. Full HP. 369 is playing really well this game already. Faker taking first base. No flash, obviously. TP back. Needs to be careful, though. Needs to be careful in this lane. Getting the MR stacked up. I wonder what items JDG topside buys. Because I feel like MR is so important in this game, especially for early Herald fights. Knight has first strike. I thought he would go conquer this game, but yeah. Tier 2 boots for Guma. Ruler went Noon Quiver. God, this is... I don't know. I don't know how Zeus is this far behind top. Is this, I don't know if this is how the matchup is supposed to go, but anyway. Nice chunk by 369. He has E up now, but he needs to be careful. Oh, Faker dead. Faker dead. Big kill. That's a huge kill for JDG. That is a huge kill. That means that they have two losing topside lanes now, T1. T1 has two lanes losing... Kanavi's to close to six. He's going to blast Cone over. Down the uh, I don't know if Kanavi's. they can dive this. Maybe they are. Oh, I hate this Nautilus pick, but we'll see. I mean, Silas Sejuani will murder them 2v2, right? Like, Maokai Nautilus does not have the damage to kill Silas ever. Especially when he's building Roa. I wonder if he's going to go Merc Treads this game as well. Should be free for T1. I think they're a bit hesitant, though. They don't know where Sejuani is. They'll see Rakan on this ward on Bot River now. Boom. Ping, and now they realize, like, okay, Herald is pretty free. Take recovers, mid push, Silas catches. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I think T1 have to play really hard to bot now after top camps. Oh, no blast cone. He has to flash here if he wants to commit. Nice, he's dead. Oh, he W'd the ult as well. Give the kill to Zeus. Big kill for Gwen. They can't dive mid either. They need to be careful. Bot Zeus doesn't have TP yet, but Faker will soon to cover. They could herald top for Gwen if they want to. Bot's winning in isolation. As long as they see Sejuani, they're alright. Knight's moving up. Faker's trying to slow down Sejuani's move. 
Kanavi just fighting fake Knights will get spotted by Sapling now. Ping. And, uh, just they herald the top, so the Knights will cover. But the plates will go to Zeus. They need to get this top wave in, and T1 can take an easy base. Look at 369. He's gonna go. He's gonna go mid, I guess. I thought he was gonna gank bot through lane. So it's only a 400 gold lead to Zeus, but they shared a lot, right? So JDG, what do you need to do from this? They'll get bot side vision. Seems pretty good. They'll get bot push because Aphelios has to give up the wave. Don't know where Sedge is. Dragas will cover mid. Silas will push out the next top wave, and then they'll probably swap back. Oh, either. What happened was either. Two stacks left on Ruler's Cull. He really wants to stay. Yep, Bomba. Silas will get a plate. Zeus TP's up soon. There's the plate over the Silas. Ready? Boom. A lot of bot vision for JDG, so that makes Ruder's life a lot easier because of that top lane. You can get a nice base, so their bot lane's freed up a bit. Nice cancel by Zeus. That frees up top a bit. Leeching Lear, though. So to be honest, Gragas is in a really fine state right now. But uh, he needs he needs Rift Maker, Zeus. Faker needs Abyssal Mask, that'll be a big spike. Once they get Abyssal Mask Rift Maker, they're chilling. I think Maokai, I think they need Maokai Merc Treads, to be honest. I feel like this Maokai might get one popped. There's Kraken for Ruler. To be honest, T1 should give this Drake. But I don't know, it's T1, maybe they just fight it anyway. But they're far behind on items. Wow, they want to fight this? Wow, they're down Mythics. 9 TPing where? Bot tower? Mid tower. Uh, give, give, give. Yeah, they give. I think they had to give no matter what, but the, T the TP solidifies that. Good, good, good. Aphelios needs to base for Mythic now as well. Ruder will fast push bot, which will sting for Guma, so he's going to stay. Need Merc Treads on Maokai, needs Abyssal Mask, and then I think they're fine. Right now, JDG are chilling. JDG are hard chilling. Their bot side vision is being... It's been staying here for a while. Now, Guma's going to base Ruder will get a lot. Going to fast push bot again, try and play for a plate. Okay, Ruler's not going to greet for plate. He's going to base. It looks like they might match topside. Let's see what Ruler does. Berserker Greaves run top. Yeah, they know the T1's swapping for Herald. It's going to be a 5v5. Faker, does he have Abyssal Mask? No, he doesn't. Oh my god, Faker is broke as fuck. There's a lot of items missing for T1 again. No Rift Maker, no Mask, no Merc Treads. It's tough. Again, tough. I don't know, Herald fight seems tough, to be honest. JDG is Radiant Virtue. Uh... Let's see what Zeus can yeah, do, though. Maybe he can base and TP right. so in time for it. T1 have... I mean, it's fine. Sejuani ults down. JDG should definitely now, force this now, though. It's going to be an absolute jump onto Guma. Oh, T1, do you fight this? I think you drop this, too. Rakan can really carry the fight. Here they go. Here comes a disengage from JDG. They got space now, T1, but here comes the turn. Here comes the turn. Guma's one shot. Oh, they got so much damage out. Watch, watch Zeus, watch Zeus, watch Zeus. Oh, Zeus just cut through them. Oh, nice hook by Faker, but it's around the wall. Nice cleanse by Ruder to cleanse the root. Good kill by Zeus. But I think JDG win the long fight. Holy Ruler. In the big brawl, T1 are fine because of Gwen. But if Gwen gets fucked or Gwen dies... Ruler kills you all. What an engage from 369. What an engage from 369. What a flank. What a flank. What a flank 369. They have Herald from mid. Zeus is strong. Maybe he wins first night, but Dragon is going to be a bit of an issue. Guma knows Sums. Ruler has Flash. It will be a big Dragon fight soon. Zeus can't base yet. He needs to save it. He needs to TP to Drake. Faker still has no item. He's so weak. Does he have Abyssal Mask in base now? I hope so. Abyssal Mask. So complete. Zeus has TP. Need to be careful though. They could herald mid. Need to go back to mid now and defend. No one's hitting the eye. They can't hit the eye. Smite, 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 smite. Okay. Knight TP'd on bot wave. They're gonna get bot tower here, JDG. Where's the TP from Zeus? Where's the TP from Zeus? TP, TP, TP. Ah, Guma is so fucked this fight. Maokai ulted by space. He ulted. Faker ulted Gragas. Oh, T1 needs to be careful on the turn. Be careful. What a bomba. Oh, ruler reset. They're playing on hooks. No W for Zeus. Okay, pulled it back. Faker. What did he die to? Oh, no, no, flash. Bye bye. Well, they denied, they denied soul points. Was it red buff? Does he have red buff on? Yeah, he does, right? 
Nice fight for JDG. Ruler is getting so strong and he has some still. Maokaiult is giving T1 a lot of space. And they're playing on hook, disengage, hook, disengage. But they get chunked out through this and Ruler will eventually get one. I'm surprised they invested Nautilus ult here onto Gragas. I mean, it gets them to kill onto Rakan. But then Ruler is just free hitting. Gwen doing the same damage as Gragas is not what T1 wants. 3 minutes 30 seconds on Drake. I don't know, JDG is in an insane position. Zonia's on night. JDG are bing chilling. Uh, I think this is a really favorite JDG game. Let's see how they set up Nash. Looks like Kanabi's building Abyssal Mask. I think really goodbye. They're waiting for Guma IE, but they're losing a lot for it. Owner is fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, hook. Don't even have damage, though. The only damage they have is Guma Zeus. They're gonna have to give this mid tower soon. Zeus could not get bot tier one, or does the creep kill it? Yeah, he does get bot tier one. It's ruler versus Zeus, basically. Knight will get involved soon. I mean, he's actually almost level 15 knight again. How is this guy level 15 at 23 minutes every game? Roa is so broken. I think JDG have more damage, more CC, more frontline. The only X factor is Zeus. If Zeus can cut through them and not get CC'd and die, is Tio gonna try and force an Ash? Ruler has IE in base. They might just have to blow a Baron here. They have to blow a Baron. It's for sure the correct call. They're not gonna do it. Oh, Ruler has IE now. Oh, baby. This is gonna hurt. Oh, they're a bit late. 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 Ruler will be here in time. Oh, here comes the engage from JDG. Here comes the engage from JDG. Missing is gonna die, maybe. Oh my god, they're all flashing onto Ruler. Ruler's dead. Ruler's dead. They got him. They got Ruler. What? That's it, 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 that's it. It's over. Holy fuck, Kumayushi. Holy shit. What? Dude. T Water just pushing through. They're gonna have to go back to How did Ruler die? Did Kumayushi just flash over everything? They're gonna get Nash. They won't be able to get Drake, I think, unless they can base in time. Holy shit. This was so risky by T1. Watch, watch Kuma. Hook. Faker ults ruler. Zeus ghosts runs at him. Guma sees Knight on the angle. This flash is over. With blue gun. Oh my god, that dive was clean. Knight went too deep. He was flanking, but flanking for what? He needs to protect ruler. Oh my. Are they losing the strike? Are they going to get there in time? But look at hey, hey, hey. Pip back in live. It's JDG who are on they get the Drake. Can they get the fight here, T1? Show me who. Guma, no sums. Need to be careful, T1. Damn. Time. They actually pulled it off. Rebel That's huge. I really thought JDG would win front to back, but, but Silas wasn't there and they managed to get on top of Ruler. Now T1's in the lead. They just need to wait for Rabadons on Zeus and they've just blown this game open. It was front to back. It wasn't. It was fucking Knight trying to flank but getting stopped permanently by Owner. I think he can't flank. He has to protect. Is missing summoners now. So he needs Maokai ult for Ruler. Uh, Zeus is going to get 16 on this wave and Rabadons after top tier 1. I don't even think AD carries matter anymore. Look at Gwen. He has Rabadons in base. I, I, oh my. Damn, I really thought it was horror for T1. The fact that they start Nash when they're down 3k. I agree with you, Pranus, and they a force a fight does. in one direction on River. Oh, this is terrible so by night. Fun to watch, though, and then make it work like that. That was fucking bot push for Zeus. Nash is 30 seconds. They should get this mid tier one if Zeus can move so down. Knight no TP. Could TP on the wave to force a tier two. Well. Should get it when murders these towers. Knight took the ult. There's the Maokai ult. Actually, Maokai ult is so OP. Okay, they got three towers, two towers. Yeah, three towers. Top tier one, mid tier one, bot tier two. Does he have BT and base, Guma? Yeah, he does. Oh, my. They need top tier 2, but they don't have to overextend for it. They don't have Nash, so there's no point to go too psycho for it. Heavily, heavily forcing here. Yes, flash. Three, six, nine in trouble. So much trouble is there's the depth charge. He got polymorph, not able to get himself out of the way. Grab damage. Yeah, he does. Oh, TPA, kill the Silas. T1 grab that one. Knight is teleported in though. Gets a massive amount of knockups at the glacial prison. Owner, 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 owner. Owner is dead. Oh, he flashed out. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Ruler can cook here. Ruler can cook here. Oh, Ruler's cooking. Jesus, one for one. Jesus, Drake's in one minute. They have to base and get the Drake now. Owner lost flash. Faker lost flash. Carrier lost flash. JDG didn't really use anything. That's danger zone. Kuma has his flash, luckily, but... Knight they used with the so much I for that. Okay, 20 seconds, Drake's up. Guma doesn't have GA. Zeus doesn't have Ghost. He's close to Void Staff, though. 
We're All of JDG have flash buff in 369. JDG they have double stop watch as well. It, you on Don playing for base. They're playing for Drake fight. Missing, 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 missing. missing. They know exactly it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. They got the Drake, but it's a mess. Owner's going to die, I think. Oh, missing. Missing might die as well. He got out. Ruler. Oh, my God. Zeus. Nice stop watch by Knight. And now it's just one for zero for JDG, but JDG. they got the Drake. Don't oh my god, Drake. Baron's up. What do they do about Drake. Baron? Yeah, only owner goes they could down, base here and TP. No, they don't have TP on uh, Silas yet. T1 have to... T1's gonna rush it? What? They could have finished it, you know, but they just don't know where Sejuani is. They have to slow them down on this entrance. T1 have to slow it down. They have to try and push them back a bit. T1 have four members here. Owners respawning in five. Well, Hook is going oh to land here. Oh my god, says, Zeus has ult. Does he have ult? Kuma flash to knock up. Ruler got a reset. Zeus is dead. Zeus is They're gonna lose Baron. They're gonna lose Baron. Oh my god, shit. They threw JDG's back in it. Oh my god, they just swung the game back. Ruma has GA in base, but I can tell you this is. That's it. What's Ruler got in base? Does he have GA as well? Uh, if Aphelios had blue gun, it's fine, but. There's more stopwatch. GA on Guma. Crit cloak. It's gonna go Hurricane, I guess, on Aphelios or Dominix. They still have Aphelios Lulu, but what can JDG get with this Nash? I don't think they can end on this Nash. T1 are gonna stall. They need items. Look how much juice they've got building up. They also have a bit of juice building up too. But they have they have Rebidons on Silas now, so taking Maokai ult is so important. Faker's three levels down. They have Mikhail's. No Mikhail's on Lulu yet. They need Mikhail's. Need Mikhail's as well. T1 are gonna try and stall. Looks like he's going Hurricane, not Dominix. Zeus could be the difference maker, but JDG could not Zeus? The front door. Zeus? Okay. Zeus? 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 Can you make he hasn't shown yet. He's Here he goes. Rule has to deal with Rule no flash. Rule no flash. Rule of oh my god, he gets excited and He's dead. That's over. JDG day. wins. JDG wins. That's it. It's over. Faker trying to turn, but Ruler dodges it. Guma can't cook here, can he? He gale forces in. But he's dead. In the final JDG win. Forrest's and money is C1 saved. To the lower bracket, oh my god. It's going to be a T1 Genji rematch. Third time in the last month for the, for the finals.